Hello and welcome to this presentation, Exchange versus OTC Derivatives. In this presentation, the idea is to just try and quickly summarise the key aspects of trading derivatives on an exchange or in the over-the-counter market. On exchanges, the contracts are said to be described as standardised. Derivatives listed on futures exchanges often go under the name of futures and options. Now, a futures contract, as designed by the exchange, stipulates when delivery will take place, what the precise quantity of the underlying asset will be, and also the quality of the underlying asset is designed to be standardised, that is set by the exchange. Whereas in the over-the-counter market, derivatives such as forwards, which are very similar to futures, but a forward contract is traded in the over-the-counter market and it's bespoke. That is to say, the two parties in an OTC forward themselves determine when delivery will be, what the precise quantity of the underlying asset will be, and also the quality. So in other words, the two parties determine these aspects in the derivative, whereas exchange-based derivatives the exchange dictates what the delivery month is, for example, quality and quantity. Futures contracts, for example, listed on exchanges, are also said to be centrally cleared. That is to say, you have a clearinghouse or a central counterparty who will ensure contract fulfilment with respect to the clearing members on the exchange. Now, in other presentations, we explain precisely how this process works. But suffice to say at this stage that if you trade on a recognized derivatives exchange, then the clearing members will have their contracts protected should either clearing member default during the life of the derivatives position. In the over-the-counter market, the contracts traded between the various parties are often described as being bilateral. That is to say, you therefore have counterparty risk during the life of the derivative. However, this is changing. Certain OTC derivatives are now being encouraged to be centrally cleared, whereby central counterparties or clearinghouses are looking to ensure contract fulfillment in those respective products. However, the OTC market has a lot of quite intricate or exotic type of derivatives that can be traded. And to try and centrally clear these positions is rather difficult. That is on the more bespoke types of contracts but for the more standard types, then these are certainly being encouraged to be cleared at the moment. Derivatives exchanges are often said to be either open outcry, that is to say people physically meet in an exchange building to trade these derivatives, or a lot of these derivatives contracts can now be executed on an electronic platform. In the over-counter market, a huge number of OTC trades are still transacted over the phone. The more standardised OTC derivatives can, of course, be executed on trading platforms, electronic platforms, but the majority still is broked or traded or dealt over the telephone. Exchanges generally have fixed trading hours when the exchange is open for trading, whereas in the over-the-counter market, which is normally frequented by large institutions and particularly banks, so long as the bank has somebody manned on a desk, then they can trade essentially 24 hours of the day. Exchanges tend to be characterised also by having fairly strict rules and procedures which govern how various members of the exchange can trade in terms of what they trade, how, when and where. In the over-the-counter market we say that these markets are more flexible in terms of how people trade. We're not suggesting that the OTC market is any anything less governed, but it just means there's more flexibility when it comes to trading across borders. Exchanges tend to have a limited number of derivatives listed on the exchange, and these are described simply as futures and options. In the over-counter market, there is certainly more products that are available for trading. For instance, we have derivatives which go by the name of forwards, swaps, warrants, exotics, over-the-counter options as well and in the over-the-counter market there is certainly more scope for flexibility when it comes to design of contracts and also creativity when it comes to sort of trading and hedging as well. So just to summarize then exchanges tend to be more these sort of standard products where they are definitely centrally cleared so you have contract fulfillment 
with respect to clearing members who engage in those markets. The markets themselves can either be face-to-face -face trading, that is open outcry or electronic. Exchanges have fairly strict trading hours, strict rules when it comes to how you trade on those exchanges, but a limited number of products available for trading. In the over-the-counter market, it's certainly more bespoke, tailor-made. There is the issue that when you trade in the over-the-counter market, you have counterparty risk. But as we mentioned earlier on, this is changing and more standardized OTC derivatives are being encouraged to be centrally cleared. A lot of the business is still firm based and it is a market which can be open for 24 hours of the day. Certainly the rules which govern how you trade in the over-the-counter market are more flexible and as we've noted previously there is certainly more choice of derivatives that can also be traded in those markets. Okay.